Yahweh's I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles, the elder bishops of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the true servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, and in this doctrine unto you I say shalom. The truth is easy if you seek it. And when I say easy, I mean it's easy to obtain. It's easy to understand, but you have to seek the truth first. All right. And in this world, a lot of people aren't seeking truth. Truth. All right. They, 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 they may claim they're seeking truth, but the truth is right in your face. OK. Right on the Internet for free. OK. But people aren't people are seeking, you know, truth be told, they're seeking lies. OK. They're, they're seeking a, a, a comfort. OK. They're they're seeking um, a, a sense of optimism about America, about the society. They rather they want to hear the truth, but they don't want to hear the whole truth. OK. But. Two thirds of our people aren't seeking the truth. They don't want to know the truth. Okay, so you have to seek the truth. The truth is plain. Okay, we're Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are Israelites, the, the, the God's chosen people. Okay, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son are not God and Jesus Christ and Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's the beginning of seeking truth. That's the beginning of knowledge. Okay, but you have to seek it. All right, you have to want to seek it. All right, if you've been told a lie all your life. It's about it don't have, even have to be about the Bible. It could be about who your father is or some something you were told when you were a child that you want to seek that truth. You want to hear the truth when you get older. All right. Hey, we want to seek the truth of who we are, where we come from. OK, why are we in this position? All right. Yeah. Jake wants to blame it on everybody but them goddamn selves. All right. Yeah. We're in this position because the Heavenly Father punishes. We're under curses. Why are we in the position? Because we went off as a nation. Okay, that's the part of the truth that Jake don't want to hear. Okay, but the truth, like I said, the truth is easy. The scripture says it's plain. All right, it, it, it's um, the Lord makes it plain. All right, so it, it's, it's, you know, and the Bible can be an intimidating book because it's so many, so many books, so many chapters, so many words, so many prophecies, laws. But if you're seeking it, hey, you don't care how long it is. You want the truth. You want to, you want to get the full understanding. Okay. And you can't, you know, you can't have a lazy demon on you if you want to seek truth. All right. If, if it's not, if it's not in this, let me go to this. If it's not here, but the truth is right before your eyes. All right. Right. The, the, the truth is on, on the street corners. All right. Seven days a week. All right. So it's going to be no excuse for anyone that they didn't know what the truth was because they didn't seek it. All right. So let me start with the Sirach, Ecclesiasticus chapter. Um, shoot, where is it? 39, 39, 40. Thirty-nine, actually, yeah, thirty-nine. I'll start with this. There's a few other scriptures I want to grab. This is thirty-nine and uh, Ecclesiastes thirty-nine and verse twenty-four. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. The ways of the heavenly Father were his law, statutes, and commandments. Unto the holy, all right, holy meaning separate, separate from this world, separate from. Um, the, 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 the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, separate from everything that's where it has to take place, that the, the scriptures, this, this truth, this knowledge is going to be made plain. It's going to be made simple to understand. Okay? But to, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. If you can't get it, all right, and, and you didn't read the Bible, you know, cover to cover Genesis uh, to Revelations, and you can't get it, hey, you're more than likely not one of the chosen. All right? The Lord has put blinders on you. And, 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 you know, blocked you from getting this truth. All right. The Lord is, has, has put you in the spirit of deep sleep. But if, if it's plain to you, if you can understand, OK, if you can read, read the Bible in this correct way by, by putting precept upon precept. All right. The, you can see the you can see the Lord's doing with you. If you can understand the names of the Lord. All right. And his son or your how when you have a shot, the Lord is dealing with you on a level when you have the Lord is going to sup with you. OK, let me grab that. Um, Revelations. This is the book of Revelations, chapter three. And um, verse 20, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. All right. The Lord is going to sup with you spiritually. The Lord is going to open your mind, open your 
your eyes to, to, to spiritual revelations. All right, reveal things spiritually to you. Reveal these scriptures, reveal these mysteries. All right? Because the scripture is not these scriptures are not given to everyone. All right? This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing but re but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. The, when the Lord sub with you, subs with you, he's revealing his secrets unto you. All right? These prophecies, these dark sayings, these uh, uh, uh um these uh, um you know, revealing his his, his ways, his the you know mainly the prophecies, okay. But the Lord has to sub with you, all right. And how do you sub with the Lord? You have to be sincere. You have to seek this truth. You have to seek knowledge. You have to seek wisdom. You have to seek. Uh, uh, you have to be meek. All right. Um. Let me go back. Let me go hit this Habakkuk two and two. And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run." That readeth it, all right? I'm going to look up this word plain. It said, make it plain upon tables, simple to understand. The scriptures are simple to understand if you have the spirit, all right? If you're seeking the truth, all right? If you're really, you got to be sincere. You got to be sincere about this all the way, all right? Because if you're not sincere, you will be weeded out, all right? The word plain, by R, uh, to make plain, distinct, to make clear, all right? This is clear, clear. The, the truth is clear. All right, unto those that are, are are really seeking the truth, that are sincere, okay. And, and before the truth, before the truth, um, you know, coming into this knowledge, this true knowledge, you know, both brothers were, you know, s seeking some form of truth, whether it was, you know, Illuminati videos on YouTube or, or, or you know, they were seeking the truth. They were, you know, one of, you know, they they is something wasn't right about this place, and you know. Most brothers wanted to know, like, yo, why are we in this fucked up position? Why are these devils ruling over us? When is this going to come to an end? And then, of course, the Heavenly Father, you know, open, you know, continue to open our eyes and, and, and begin to sup with us and, and, and show us this light, show us this truth. OK, um, let me jump back to uh, Deuteronomy 4. And. Um, verse I'm going to start at verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among among the nations, and he, ye shall be few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods and works of men's hands, wood and stone, neither which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. But from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. All right, so we were we were scattered. We were, uh, uh, um, you know, we began to, you know, really go off by worshiping false idols, and and, and you know, which scripture says in verse twenty eight, the um, the work of wood and stone. Okay, we were all into all these different religions and false uh, ideologies. Okay, but you know, we knew, all right, brothers, the elect knows that hey, something's not right. All right, and it says, "Thou shalt find him; shall seek the Lord thy power, and thou shalt find him if thou seek him." with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So when you come into this, you got to continue to seek the Lord. Yes, we found this truth, but we had to continue to to fight, all right? Fight for salvation, fight for righteousness, all right? Continue to seek him, all right? Continue to seek his his, his judgments, his words, his his uh, his truth, all right? But, hey, a lot of our people, you know, you could tell them a little bit and you could tell them a little bit more, but they're not, that, that's that's it. They're not going to ask and, and, and inquire about, you know, other things that they're not sure about, other things in the scriptures or things that they're not, they heard about, but they're not sure about. They're not going to seek that. Our, a lot of our people are just pretty much surface level Israelites, you know, and it ain't about being deep. It's just about really, you know, um, seeking truth. Okay. You could tell a Jake a half truth and they'll run with that. All right. And, 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 you know, you try to tell them, well, it's way too, it's more to that. It's, you got to, you know, know about this and know about this and they, they won't, they'll be good. They'll be fine with the truth that you gave them. All right, because our people like to hear lies. They like to hear, uh, 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 um, as it was, I'm going to get the scripture. It says, prophesy unto us lies. They like to hear those lies. All right, and, and at the end of the day, man, no one, you know, in their right mind likes to be lied to about anything, the smallest thing or the biggest thing. No one likes to be lied to. All right, and we've been lied to since we've been here, since we've been in this captivity. We lied to about our heritage. We lied to about the name of the Heavenly Father, the images in the Bible. Okay, we were called black, Latinos, Mexican, Puerto Rico. We were called all these things, and it was all a lie. 
Okay, but a lot of our people, you tell them this truth, they're so they they've been so accustomed to living these lies that they, they you know they'll hear it but they won't hear it. All right, they'll understand it but they won't understand it because at the end of the day they're going to continue to call themselves black. They're going to continue to call themselves Puerto Rican or or, or, or indigenous or whatever. You know, J Jake is bugged out. All right, so that Jake is you know two thirds of our people that they they that that that. That American demon has, you know, really been that 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 shit's been seared in their head. All right, and the only thing that's going to get it out is, is is fire, thermonuclear fire. All right, destruction. This is Isaiah thirty and nine. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and prop and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Deceits are lies. Okay? All right? That, that's what our people want to hear. They don't want to hear the truth. All right? This is prophesy not unto us right things. What are those right things? Okay? These law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father has given us, a righteous way and a proper way to live. They don't want to hear the right way. They don't want to hear the right way. They want to hear you say that the, the, the wrong way is the right way. All right? They want to hear those deceits. They want to hear those lies. Okay? Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll read 11. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Let me scroll down. Um, this breach. Let me see. That's what I know it's going to say. I know the verse. Uh, therefore, this iniquity shall be be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Because you despise his word, you despise his truth, you wanted to hear lies, okay? When it was when it was made plain, it was, it, it was as the scripture said, it, it was plain upon tables, but you chose lies instead of truth. Therefore, hey, you're going to, um, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, reap the reap the reward, reward of your uh, your wickedness, all right? Um, let me get another verse in Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 60 and 1, really pointing to. Arise, shine, that the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The light is his truth, okay? If you've been in darkness, all right, and, and you know, for so long, a lot of people don't want to, they don't want to come into the light, okay? But if you've been in darkness and you say, hey, man, you know, F it, hey, I want to see the light, I want to know the truth. You're going to come into that light and it's going to be bright. All right. You're going to, it's going to be bright at first, but your eyes are going to have to adjust. And then that light is going to shine, which is this truth. All right. Before behold, the, before behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. These people are in gross darkness. All right. They've been in a, a, a um, they've been in a hole so long, you know, in prison, how the hole is just dark. And no, no windows, no light. Our people have been in a, a spiritual hole so long, okay, that they don't want to come to the. They don't want to get out the hole, all right. They don't want to leave the prison, okay, because they des they despise the Holy One of Israel. They despise Yahweh Shai. They despise the Law, Statutes, and Commandments, okay. They 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 despise the straight gate, okay. They want the, they want they want the broad gate, all right. What the Scripture says, the broad gate which leadeth unto destruction. All right, um, let me see. This is book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and uh, verse 6. A scorner seeketh wisdom, seeketh wisdom, and findeth it not. But knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. His knowledge is easy, okay? But those that really want to understand, all right? And, and, and if you say someone's, you know, trying, they trying, they trying, you know, but they can't understand it, they can't understand it, you got to seek, you got to seek the Lord, you know, as the scripture says, seek him 10 times more, but um, let me read this verse, um, James 1 and 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High, Yahweh, that giveth to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him, all right, you got to plead with the Most High, you got to beg, you know, beg for forgiveness, beg for mercy, fast, okay, and, and then the Lord, as the scripture said in uh, Revelation 3 and 10, the Lord will sup with you, okay, and, and, and you, you, you know, the, you know, the, the Lord's going to knock and, hey, when the, when you know you'll know when the Lord's knocking, okay. When the Lord begins to open your eyes, 
all right, and, and, and see if you want to, you know, and, and as you continue to you know, grow in the spirit, the Lord will continue to open your eyes, but you have to seek him. You have to seek this knowledge, all right? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, let me grab this. Yeah, I got a few more scriptures. Uh, Matthew 7 and 7. Um, let me see. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be op open. All right? So, hey, you got to seek this truth. All right? You say you know a few scriptures, that's great, but you got to, hey, this is a, hey, the, the, the Bible's a, a big book full of prophecies, full of laws, statutes, and commandments, judgments. You got to seek it all out, all right. And and you know, on this side, we won't know this. We don't. We won't know the scriptures a hundred percent, okay. But hey, we got to do what we can while we're here to to try to obtain salvation, to try to be try to be redeemed, try to be saved from 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 the destruction, okay. So it says, I'm gonna read it again. As acts, and if it it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find it. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And you got to knock. You're right. You got to be banging on that door for the Lord to um you know. You know, sup with you to open up to you to give you this knowledge into this in this wisdom for everyone that act, acts receive it. All right, you got to be asking the name of you. How about Shemiah Rashad? You got to call on those names and believe in those names. And he that seeketh find it, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. All right, so the Lord is willing to open those doors for you, but you got to you got to open you know open yourself unto the Lord. All right, you got to you you may have to deal with some. Um, uh, you might have to catch them. You're going to catch some hell in this truth. All right. As the scripture says, and it was that wisdom asylum, wisdom will try you. Let me get that. When you come into this truth, wisdom's going to try you. You're going to be tried. You're going to, you're going to fall into, into temptation. All right. Uh, See, uh, yeah, I'm being lazy. Let me just look it up on my um, phone real quick. Um, I think it's Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4. Maybe it's 5. Uh, bear with me one second. Let me find the scripture. Um, yeah, I can't find, I don't know where it's at, man, but, um, but like I was saying, man, you got to really seek, you got to. The truth is easy to understand, but you have to seek it. You have to be sincere, all right? And, and, and you know, the Lord is going to test you. The Lord is always testing us, okay? So, you know, you have to, you know, the Lord is testing us. If the Lord is dealing with you to prepare you for tough times, to prepare you for, uh, um, you know, peril, to prepare you for, you know, these plagues, prepare you for Jacob's trouble, ultimately, okay? So, um, damn, I wish I could have found that scripture, um, but, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.